Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, so at the end of last episode we uh, officially learned Auto Shell and Auto Protect for the last mascot dress sphere, so all three of them have it now. Nice. Which means we can equip much more conventional uh, accessories on them. So yeah, as far as the setup changes go, got the safety bit and speed bracer on Yuna there. Got Riku with the safety bit and Kaiser knuckles, and I've got Pain with the safety bit and Kaiser knuckles as well. Uh, one thing you might want to consider putting on here: the smooth shelling and AP egg for Pain for one specific ability on the samurai dress sphere. Obviously, you'd have to put the samurai dress sphere onto the garment grid, but that's easy enough, you know. Uh, it'd be worth your while to learn Sparkler, and by that I mean I'd probably say get it, you know. Uh, it can really help out with the uh, heavy sell it enemies uh, since Sparkler. It, uh, ignores defense. Um, the damage of it, I find, is affected by its defense up ability, but it still does enough damage to still make it worthwhile to, you know, be able to, you know, break through its defense quicker. So, yeah, I definitely do recommend learning Sparkler. Uh, I learned this when uh, Pain was waiting for Yuna and Riku to finish learning uh, Ribbon, and uh, you know, getting up to then getting up to uh, level 99 afterwards, kind of thing. So, yeah. The APA against smooth shaling could make, shouldn't be able to make a short work of uh, learning Sparkler there. Um, and if you want to make it, make it go even quicker, you can use Mirror of Equity as well. Uh, anytime uh, you're in battle, kind of thing. So you can, if she gets that, if she uh, gets that move off, uh, that'll add an extra three ability points to this. So yeah, nice quick one there. So yeah, just something to keep in mind and a recommendation. I I do leave in your hands. So yeah. All right. So we got the accessories taken care of. So yeah. All right, so also last episode I mentioned something about keeping track of your Tonberry kills. I'm currently at 12, and I figure this is probably the best opportunity I have right now to uh, go after the 16th and final Blue Bullet skill for Gun Mages. And that a big Tonberry we saw at the end of last episode is indeed the fiend that carries it. Uh... But aside from the challenge of actually being able to get to the Mega Tonberry uh, when it's oversold, I think anybody who's familiar with this particular Blue Bullet skill can probably agree with me in that it is by far the most difficult Blue Bullet skill you can get uh, that in the game to get. Um, so, yeah. Fortunately, I've managed to take some of the... Uh, the stress out of it by figuring out a way you can basically save scum uh, getting to the Tonberry. Dealing with the Tonberry, however, is uh, another matter entirely, which I hope to uh, <laughs> help out with. But uh, yeah, so I'm currently at sitting at 12 uh, Tonberry kills. I need one more. So let's, uh, I'm actually going to, just to make things uh, quicker and easier to follow, I'm actually going to avoid I'm actually going to run from any battles that are not the Tonberry, so uh, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go go in, get the 13th Tonberry kill, and then teleport out to save it, and then we can start the the save scumming process there. So I'm actually going to head in here. Uh, before I head in here, I actually want to make this as efficient as possible. There's one of two floors I want to end up on. Uh, there's actually I found that there tends to I found that it teleports you into one of three floors. And one of them has the Elder Drake on it, which we do not want. We want one of the other ones. So uh, the other two have Tonberries on them. So we can just kill the Tonberry and then teleport out. So, all right. So let's uh, go see if we can get it, get one of those two in the first try. All right. And here's one of them. Uh, the other one would be the uh, the one where you be uh, there's the uh, the glyph in the center room, and then there's the three rooms off to the side with the pedestals you got to step on to uh, ultimately lower the floor in the center to be able to proceed forward. So yeah, so yeah, just any battles I get into, I'm just gonna run if they're not time days. Rest of them I'll edit out aside from that one. <laughs> I was in the middle of a sentence, but anyways. Ah, camera. All right. Let's climb up here. There's Tonberry number 13. Oh. 
Alright, Tonberry number 13. Now, as much of a, as a, of a trek as it is to get back to the uh, teleporter, I'm actually going to do that, so let's head back. Again, I'll be editing out any battles along the way. Following that saber rule that I had to get into there, you know, it drop us into three different floors. Hang on a second. So yeah, following the same rule that this drops you into one of three different floors, we want one of the Tonberry floors again, uh, because unlike the Elder Drake floor, or sorry, the Elder Drake floor, I've had uh, uh, difficulty getting the Mega Tonberry floor to appear after it. So yeah, just. Uh, I ran into it with the uh, the Tonberry floors. Plus, we do need to uh, kill. Uh, well, we need to kill you know, three more Tonberries to get the Oversoul. So, having that that floor with the the Tonberry on it is definitely a plus because it allows us to kill another one. So, yeah, uh, rather soon. So, yeah, I want to get one of those two floors again, and I'll uh, be back. Well, when I do get one. This floor again. Ah, all right. I'm still running from battles. However, we do want to kill the Tonberry again for number 14. Get her on that. This floor under a belt, the next one I want it to be the Megaton Berries floor. So, which means if it's not, I'll reload and try again. So, yeah, I'll just go through the same process. If I get the other floor with the Tonberry on it, I'll, uh, you know, obviously I'll kill that Tonberry, but I'll run from everything else. And uh, eventually, hopefully, I'll get the uh, Megaton Berries floor, uh, the second floor in. So, all right, let's see. All right, and we've got it. So, let's head back here. And forward. And the Tonberry at the end of this hall we do want to kill for Tonberry number 15. here. <laughs> and then there's the the green head with the, the monk's robe. Alright. Now let's get equipped properly. Alright, so here we go. Yuna is on the tempered wheel garment grid. I've got it set up as you can see there. I was originally going to try and use the uh, Valiant Luster instead, but I figured, meh, an extra 20 defense versus... An extra 3,300 uh, HP. I'm probably going to go with the HP in that regard, and hopefully I don't regret it. <laughs> uh, got her with the mascot. I'll be sending her through the gate to get the uh, double HP, but then I'll be sending her straight back to get her off the gun mage. Because, <laughs> yeah, stats on the gun mage, not nearly as high as mascot. All right, and I got her with the crystal gloves and the Ragnarok, just so we don't have to worry about MB in this battle. Because, yeah, we're uh, <laughs> Yuna's going to be uh, going to have her work cut out for her. If we manage to get this thing. Alright, uh, Riku, she's on Tempered Wheel with the mascot, diamond gloves, and champion belt. Nice boost of 80 to her defense there, plus the extra strength boost with the champ that comes with the champion belt. That's That could be nice. And paying Tempered Wheel, mascot, diamond gloves, and champion belt for her as well. Now, keep in mind, we lose auto shell and auto protect as soon as we go over to gun mage. 
and the uh, ribbon as well. So, for items, this is how I have it set up. Got Phoenix Downs right at the top, Mega Phoenix is next to it. Remedies, yeah, we're going to be potentially using these as well. Because the Mega Tarnberry has an interesting aspect to his karma attack. In that, mm, pardon me, attempts to inflict petrification and poison. But if you're protected against petrification, it'll apply confusion instead, regardless of your defense, your uh, your immunities to it. So yeah, um, remedies cure all status ailments. So yeah, we may have to use these on Yuna if she gets hit with karma at any point. So yeah, and not only that, but if any of the other girls get hit with it as well. So yeah, just to remove the uh, well for whatever. As long as Yuna can use her cure just spell. She can take it off herself, but yeah, the remedies here are definitely more for uh, taking the confusion off Yuna if that hits. So, yeah. And I got Mega Potions here and X Potions as well for, I would say, emergency use, but uh, all of this is an emergency. <laughs> A required emergency, I guess you'd say, for the fight. So, yeah. All right. And, oh, and just in case you don't have a healthy stock of remedies, um, obviously, uh, throughout the LP I've not had a problem with keeping a stock of these but for if for any reason you are you do have you either don't have enough or you don't have many remedies uh, remember you can always go back to the Chocobo Ranch to uh, send some Chocobos out to the Meehan High Road because I think you can get remedies there as well just make sure you send out the awesome Chocobo first so that you can uh, guarantee yourself or I guess guarantee yourself the best possible uh, chance of all the Chocobos coming back so yeah that's uh, where you can get them so yeah all right, and yeah, abilities. I'll touch on them, though it doesn't really make much difference because nothing's changed. So, Arcana for Yuna, Instinct for Riku, and Black Magic for Pain. There. So, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Before we get into the fight, I'll go over it now. So, we're sitting at five Tonberry kills, and it's like, well, why are you fighting the Mega Tonberry? Doesn't don't you need to kill sixteen get to get the Oversoul? And it's like, well, yeah, there is a Tonberry in the fight with the Mega Tonberry, so we kill that Tonberry, and that'll cause the Mega Tonberry to Oversoul. It's the only way to guarantee every time that the Mega Tonberry gets Oversoul is by making sure the the Tonberry in the fight with it is the sixteenth one you killed. So yeah. Uh, so, Oversold, the Megaton Berry will have 51,030 HP with 0 MP. You can steal 1 to 2 Turbo Ethers from, from, from him. He is resistant to water and, and is immune to gravity. He is only susceptible to Berserk and Eject. And yeah, that Berserk susceptibility is what prompted me to uh, learn that uh, Soul Swipe the ability of Riku's, I believe, on her Thief, Jesphere. Whichever one inflicts uh, Berserk. Uh, yeah, uh... I forgot that, well, Berserk uh, removes the ability to cast any spells, and we need him to use his abilities rather than just physically attack. So, yeah, that very quickly became, uh, well, <laughs> uh, uh, a strategy that I was not going to be using <laughs> for it to get it. Uh, yeah, uh, so Oversold, oh yeah, it, it, he is immune to all debuffs as well, so yeah, Quartet Knife isn't going to be very useful here. Uh, so Oversold... He's got the physical attack, he's got uh, you know, his, uh, his stabbing attack, which does a lot of damage, and which is why we need our defense stat to be so high to be able to survive it. Well, at least unit anyway. <laughs> Riku in pain as well, as long as they stay on mascot, but you know, yeah, they're not going to be there uh, the entire time. But yeah, so regular stab move does a lot of damage. Um, and the karma attack is a percentage-based damage attack, so it does uh, removes, reduces your uh, HP and your MP by 50% of your current uh, amount, so yeah, uh, that is the reason why we've got the Ragnarok on Yuna, because she's not only that, but she's got some uh, spells in there that uh, require a lot of MP so yeah, I figured that'd be the best way to go for her and then Oversold as well, it has the ability to cast Faraga, either single target or multicasted, or multi-targeted multi so heads up there, and it can do the same thing with Flare Flare does still does quite a bit of damage so yeah but uh yeah so i think that's pretty much all i need to go over so let's do this all right we need to kill that tonberry first thing let's get healing up i would like to get regenja up at some point and there's the oversoul all right life jaw 
keep track of the HP because we need to, if you recall, we need to get this thing down 75% of HP, HP before he'll even use the ability. So yeah, I'd say about 40,000 worth of damage. So that's about 1,500 there. Ow. Ow. So that'd be what, uh, about, I'd say about 3,500 or so. Oh no. <laughs> this is what good Mega Phoenix is for. <laughs> Revive Yuna. This fight is a lot easier when you're not trying to do something special, like learn an ability, so yeah. How? Leave her alone. Because yeah, I've completely lost track of what I've hit this thing with, so yeah. I think I'll go. Oh, there's Flare. Ow! Alright, one more of those. Ow! Uh... Heal, you revive. I'm gonna send Riku over to uh, Gun Mage first to scan him. Come on, Yuna! Ow! Scan it. Fortunately, it's a really quick cast. How much HP is he at? Alright, so we need to do about 8,000 more damage. No, slightly more than 8,000, but yeah. Alright. It's 1,500. Maybe she's fine. Let's get paint over. Oh yeah. 4,500. Ow! Now oh, let's revive. Well, Yuna's doing her HP thing. The lighting was better, but this is more important. <laughs> Ow. Come on, give us a chance here. No, this isn't like a potion. Riku and Pain are just, uh... Uh... Let's have Pain scan. Who's getting hit with it? Okay, it was... Riku. All right, one or two more hits should do it. All right, now we just need to survive. Uh, Mulja, there's Cry in the Night. Yuna should survive this, no problem. Rico and Pain, however, let's see. If they do, let's get them over right away. And there it is! Huzzah! We got it! Woohoo! No, we just need to uh, to get back on track and survive the rest of the battle. 
Although having the uh, boosted stats of the mascot definitely help. Let's get Yuna back up. You know what? Let's uh, go into the Mega Potion. Let's get Yuna back on the uh, feet. Oh, yeah. I suppose you could uh, use a uh, Star Curtain just to really have at it with them. Just to uh, say, this. I've had enough of your stuff. <laughs> Please cast flare on us. That hurt. But there we go. We got it! Woo! <laughs> so, I managed to get that, but by all means, feel free to skip it. I was seriously considering doing so, and that ability is the reason why, that fight is the reason why it's taken me so long to get this video up. Oh! <sighs> Just taking it out normally is so much easier when you're not trying to learn an ability. But we have finally ooh, wrong one, learned the last of the gun mage skills. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me think, eh, just throw in the AP, AP egg for Riku there and just finish off scan level 3 to get the 100% because, yeah, there's all 16 of them crying the night. If you, did, if you didn't notice, because uh, I definitely didn't have time to notice, I was focusing on other things, but yeah, probably noticed that the... Uh, Casting animation for Crying the Night is the same as uh, uh, Seymour's Requiem Overdrive from last game. So, yeah. And then Pain, the coveted uh, crown there. 100% completion, 100% mastered. Gummage Dress Fear for her. So, yeah. We got all of them. Finally, huzzah! Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, that was rough. All right, so... Let's get uh, set up normally again. All right, and we're back to the, the regular stuff here. Safety bits and speed bracers and Kaiser Knuckles and Tetra Master and all that fun stuff. All right, so with that, let's just stop on here. Let's jump back out of here. And let's continue on. Here, Joe. Let's get back to my normal, regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> or regular routine, I guess, is the, uh, the more accurate idiom. That's it. Yuna. <laughs> After what, we, what I just put you through. That's, uh, you, you, you got some balls saying that, but anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can go a few more floors. Actually get something done this episode. That camera switches. Almost as bad as the first time we went down to the, uh... Uh, into the ravine in the Mushroom Rock Road. Yeah, regular form, the Mega Tonberry only has his stab attack and his uh, karma attack. No flare of Farag, I agree, but. That's just on over, so. I'm contemplating running from this battle just so I don't do. Okay. <laughs> Rather than play Wacka. Whack a mole with the cactus here. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, Pain? <laughs> Where are you going? She used the MP for that attack, and by, by golly, she was gonna do it. <laughs> <clears throat> me. 
Number 54. See, obviously, this would be the uh, ideal time to uh, learn Sparkler, if you will. After doing that, that mess. <laughs> As infuriating and frustrating as that is, trying to get that ability, it did take those items out of the Too Good to Use Club. So I guess there is that going for it. It actually forced you to use the tools at your disposal. <coughs> Pardon me. And I guess that me it's thinking about it in more ways than one this dungeon could in a way be compared to a Shin Megami Tensei dungeon uh, that's your level for me yeah I was debating on leaving this time very long I think I may take a look into that. I guess it yeah, I guess it would be nice to be able to just fight both the Megaton Berry off, both uh, regular and oversold regularly, you know? Like I've tried to do so far, so yeah, maybe I'll just start still keep killing them. And what floor are we on? 55? Alright, let's uh let's call it quits for today. Would have been nice to do one more, but uh, yeah, we don't. Based on what happened last episode, let's uh, <laughs> a 24-minute episode turned into a 40-minute episode because I wanted yeah, let's just do one or two more floors. I just I did end up getting a string of floors that just yeah. Oh yeah, that uh, one floor. I think we got that. I said I could never remember where the teleporter is. Yeah, you know where the uh, exit is with the uh, the the. I guess the Mama Tonberry and the Little Tonberry uh, on the corner there. Uh, yeah, just, uh, uh, you know, the intersection leading up to that. I did actually get there. If you go off to the right, uh, the teleporter's in there. So, yeah. But in any case, we progressed a few more floors into the Via Infinito, but we did accomplish our goal for this episode in teaching Riku and Pain the last blue bullet skill for the gun mages. So, yeah, we no longer have to worry about those for the rest of the game. And obviously, Pain is at sitting at 100% completion, like the Dress Sphere, so yeah. Alright. Uh. <laughs> uh, I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff anymore. <laughs> Anyways. How many items did I use? Eh, I only used a couple of Mega Potions. Didn't need the X Potions. Eh, <laughs> used a few Phoenix Downs, that's for sure. But yeah, definitely had to use at least one Remedy, so yeah. Alright, so I'm a little, uh... Bleh, you know. <laughs> After accomplishing, uh, accomplishing something you've been struggling at for so long, it's like your brain just wants to... It needs a moment, you know, and uh, yeah, wait for the, the shock to dissipate, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe I'll, after this episode I'll go and uh, maybe I'll end up weeping, going into a corner, weeping somewhere or something like that, but, or who knows, maybe I'll just go on onto YouTube or Twitch or something or watch something, watch something, but anyways, just relax, I guess, or I guess do something I want to do, but yeah. All right. I'm making it sound like it's the last episode of the game. No, it is not. We are uh, we are actually a lot further from the end of the game than one might think with the completion we were sitting at. So yeah, but you know, as the uh, that weird uh, um, expression goes, how do you 
eat an elephant one bite at a time. So, yeah. And hopefully it doesn't go bad <laughs> in the meantime. But anyways, that's not the point of it. If you enjoyed the video, or if you just want to uh, show your appreciation for what I had to put up with to get this episode up, please, please, please hit the like button. And uh, thank you so much for that. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, yeah, obviously, feel free to hit the but like button as well. If you disliked the video, please post a comment down below. Let me know how you think I can improve, any tips you might have, any suggestions. And I'll, uh, based on the frustrations I've dealt with over the past uh, day or so, um, <laughs> I'm actually uh, even more uh, inclined to take them into consideration. So, yeah. Uh, but obviously, yeah, feel free to hit the dislike button as well. That's why it's there. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, until next time, if you're looking for anything else to watch, uh, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, to see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there, since the uh, this channel is indeed on its last legs. So yeah, head on over there, see if there's anything that interests you, and if it, uh, I do manage to earn your subscription over there, well, I'll see you over there. But until next time, thank you all so very much for spending some of your time here. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.